Hello guys, Gabor here from Serial Killers, live from uh, LA, uh, E3. Uh, we got uh, Philip Morin here, um, the developer from Atlas 2. And yeah, we're gonna talk about Atlas 2. Uh, we had the chance to play it here, and yeah, we shit our pants, it's pretty great. Um, maybe uh, could you go into the game like, uh, what's new in Atlas 2? Well, it's completely a new environment, new setting, new characters. It still fits in the same universe. And we're actually going to have a comic book that's going to bridge the gap between Outlast 1 and Outlast 2. Oh, awesome. But uh, in terms of the game itself, uh, so it takes place in a more open environment. At least it starts in a more open environment, but it's not going to remain there. Uh, the, the, uh, the setup is a cult village, uh, people uh, who believe the end of times are coming. And uh, you're basically looking for your wife there because her chopper crashed in the canyons of Arizona. And uh, you're gonna discover that uh, these people are pretty messed up, and you're gonna become pretty messed up at the same time. So, um, since I played it already, um, I mean, the, the, the demo version got an ending like uh, you can't get out of there. Um, are there gonna be parts in the game where you, you just die and, and don't get out, or? Well, there's gonna be situations that. Uh, are going to be pretty tough to uh, get out of it. Uh, you see, for the demo, the demo it was uh, something staged to kind of end the demo with a bang. But uh, yeah, it's 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 in the same vein as the first game, which is to put the the character, the player, uh, in very tough situation and have them uh, beaten up as much as we can. <laughs> um, are there like moments when you when you develop a game like that um, where you? Where, where your developers go like, I can't do this, or I need, a, need to take a, take a break or something like that? I hope so. I mean, uh, what we hope that is that at the end of the game, players go into a corner and curve into a ball and cry for their mummy. <laughs> I mean, uh, your development team, like, uh, were there some people, when they, when they developed the stuff like that, there was, uh, that there was going like, oh my god, I can't, uh, I need to take a break or something, your, your developers? Are yeah, yeah, I mean, the, on the first Outlast, uh, I remember when we did the playtest of the first one, uh, the, uh, when we had winning the full game, there was one playtester who, um, uh, after maybe 30, 40 minutes, she just went outside and started crying and didn't want to come back. So uh, I mean, we'll see with the second one uh, how it turns out. So far the demo has seemed to uh, gather pretty uh, positive feedback and uh, the people are following, uh, following us on Facebook seem to uh, like the uh, new direction so uh, we uh, hope for the best and uh, hopefully uh, people will be scared um, do you get any plans for VR it's something we always looking into we have the dev kits at the office but we're a really small team we're 18 people so we got to focus on one thing at a time and uh, so we're gonna finish this game first and then uh, we'll see where we're at okay. um, in terms of release dates or, or Development windows, how far are you into the development? Or? Yeah, the uh, the game will be done this fall, uh, but when the, depending on when exactly it's done, we'll see if we have time to ship it before the holidays or if we have to wait right after. Okay, so uh, maybe as last question, um, what what can fans from, from Outlast expect or, or in the next game, like your favorite moment or...? I think uh, we're still, I mean, we still have the visual gory side of uh, uh, Outlast, you know, we're very in your face horror, but this time we're also adding layers of depth and uh, we really want to mess with the player's mind. Like uh, whenever they think they understand uh, what's going on, we'll, we'll put a new twist and suddenly they, they'll just be confused and wonder again what's going on. So I think, I think mystery and uh, the right amount of confusion is necessary for the horror to be effective. And that's something we're making making sure of is that uh, in this in Outlast 2, they uh, when they the game will be structured so that you you never know what to expect, and uh, we will just keep throwing surprises at the player. Awesome. So thanks for your time, and thanks I really you. I really enjoyed the demo. So I'm really looking forward. Thank thank you.